Yo, yo, it's Doc Remedy, one-third of Scenic Route, representing the Primal Rage crew. I'm here today to show you some production tips involving EQing. I've got this track I've selected here. I'll play it here for you. <laughs> I like that bass line. It's real rich, it's real thick. It makes tones are nice with the brass instruments. I'm going to show you how to somewhat separate those for uh, better EQing, better mixing. also known as cool edit because um, it's a program that a lot of people are can easily obtain so you already have some cue marks set here to speed up this whole process I already selected a loop I'm gonna play for you here <laughs> the same track you see didn't change anything you said that cost my love. loop mark set I'm gonna play for you right there where it starts set up my loop mark so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna copy it some multiple tracks like this here first we gotta split it off so it's its own section there we go got three of them now we're going to solo out the first one, set my loop mark, play it, and we're going to introduce you to EQ. Have your low end, your bands, turning your bands on and off allows you to mess with EQ. Hear that bass line rise, get more of the sub right there. Goodbye mids, light percussion remains, some of the horns remain, losing some of the high end percussion. Just mess with this till we get the desired sound that we want. There we are. I'm gonna play it off for you. We're gonna rename it bass, or we'll rename it low. Alright, now we're gonna take out the bass and extract just the mids. Like this. Real simple. Goodbye bass line. Real simple. There's no bass line. Just leaving the, uh, the percussion and the high brass instrumentation. And we're going to export them into Recycle. So we could turn them into Rex files, import them into Reason, into the Dr. Rex. And now we're going to import this into Recycle. So we're going to open up Recycle, which I already have open for you. We're going to import the low end file that we extracted and here it is all right I'm gonna play it for you here to make sure there, we... there it is now based on listen to that we know it's two bars long it's gonna show you our tempo now that's a weird tempo to work with so I'm gonna slightly raise it not by much just a 71 so it's more of an even number to work with when we import it into reason I'm gonna put a couple slice marks, just in a basic, put a couple slice marks here, just in basic punches of the bass line. So if you're using a MIDI controller, like a keyboard or an MPD, you could sequence each slice mark in the Rex file as a separate button sequence. So you could chop it up even further more any way you would like. Uh, Resequence it in order, play it live, if you will. So we're gonna re, Export this as a Rex file in the same folder. Now I'm very organized, so I like to name my Rexes with the appropriated tempo next to them. So we're going to put 71 BPM at the end of it. And here we go. It's Rexed. Multiple slices. Good to go. Now we're going to open up the mids and do the exact same thing. And it's time to open up Reason. Here, I'm going to open up just a blank document. I'm going to insert three of the Dr. Rex racks because we created those as Rex. First one's going to be for some uh, light percussion in the background so you don't have to listen to just an, a choppy sample that we chopped up. Then, of course, the bass that we created and the mids that we created. I'm going to sequence them all through a line mixer. Push tab to go to the back of the racks. We're going to unhook, unwire 
everything from the main mixer and we're gonna run Rex 1 into line 1 of the line mixer 2, 3 and so forth. Typically I use line mixers I use one line mixer for all my percussion another one for all my uh, piano or strings etc and I'll have each line mixer as a separate track into the main mixer so I can control every facet of the mix push tab go back to the front and we're gonna change the BPM overall of the sequencer to 71 because that's what we created our Rex's at now we're gonna open up Rex 1 and we're gonna load in just a basic drum sample uh, something not too bassy because we're gonna be adding a bass line to it maybe something simple not too punchy something old school maybe too much bass see there we go right here perfect all right we got that I'm gonna preview it gonna sequence it to the track now I made a mistake here but that's so I could go back and show you how to correct things later I'll tell you about that in a second we're gonna rename it so they show up on the line mixer so we not as confused we know what we're looking at when we're navigating quicker and now Rex 2 is going to be the low end we're going to load that file up now that we created out of recycle Now what I did earlier was I had in the sequencer window, I had Dr. Rex 3 selected. When Dr. Rex 1, I pushed sequence to track. So a sequence, the MIDI of it into the third Rex, which is wrong. See here, I did it again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that out. I'm gonna move Rex 1's drums that we created in the proper sequence channel of Rex 1 select Rex 2 preview once again to make sure we got it and sequence it to the track so we have the bass line just the way we want it we're gonna play it hear that bass line without out the extra horns and percussion that was in the original song of the sample it's a nice way to nice way to sample without being too over obvious mess with some of the levels, bring the bass up a little bit, percussion down so it's not as loud. Now I'm going to show you how to boost the bass even more using EQ. We're going to push tab. We're going to unplug Rex 2 out of line 2, disconnect it all. And what we're going to do is Rex 2 is going to plug into the input of the equalizer and the output of the equalizer is going to go back into the line too. So essentially we're piggybacking the Rex with the equalizer. So we can EQ it further. We're going to turn our bands on. We're going to get the desired sound that we want. More of a sub bass. We're going to turn the high bands down. Take out a little bit more of the percussion and horns that you heard in the background of the original sample. We're going to set our loop marks down here. Here's a nice sub bass. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Once again, this is Doc Remedy, one third of the production team of Scenic Route, PrimalRage.com, and I'm out.